Hey there, this is a quick guide just to tell you exactly how to get the latest version of the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Basically in the comments and the description below you will find this here link, or link to this here site. Um, you then come here, you can read up on everything you want, there's a change log if you want to read through that. But ultimately you want to press this link, that will bring you to this site, so you then download it. It might take you a few minutes, it might take you a few seconds, you then have it and as a Mac user you'll get up the extractor. You want to extract it to here. You want to uh, go through your documents, find Crusadings 2, go to your Game of Thrones folder, it should already be made if you've played the mod before. You then delete everything you've already got in it, this is the current mod version so you don't delete it. Well I won't delete it, but yes you delete everything inside, you then extract it to here. You'll then get the folders, you'll then get the folder inside, um, with all this inside, you then select it, you then put it in here, you then delete the empty folder, and then you copy it, you paste it in the mod version, and hey presto, you've got a mod version that works. Then, you have to go to Crusadings 2, you have to go to Properties, you have to go to Betas, you have to select Out of All Betas, it'll then bring up the latest version of ZK2, which is compatible. Then, you press Play, and it works with all submods apart from Congenital Overhaul at the moment. Congenital Overhaul uh, fixes it breaks the graphics a bit, but as for bloodlines, more decisions, dynamic stability, and realistic battles, they all work with the current version of mod. And there you go. That is a quick tutorial. I hope it helps you out very much. I did do a more graphic one where I actually downloaded the mod in front of you, but my my Mac decided it didn't want to uh, render that. It decided to break the save file and lose the video. So yes, you're not getting that. So yeah, that's all you have to do is follow the instructions. If you follow them correctly, you will have the mod working and you will be able to play. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.